Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about flea markets and how to find and as a lot of people have been asking me how do I find a flea market, where am I going, etc, etc. Well for flea markets in Houston, there's quite a bit of them. Uh, they tend to be, I think, Hispanic flea markets. I mean the name of one of them is Estelella flea market and that's the closest one to me and they always have the same shops. It's kind of not a flea market in the sense that um, it's random people like garage sales, but it's just the same people at the shop over and over again. So that's the flea market I mainly go to, but then there's one in Cyprus and one in Rice Village, and I'm trying to figure out, there's another one that I'm missing, but in Houston there's four or five really big flea markets. Even one of the flea markets has like a train that just you ride and you can get like a pass, not saying that I've done this before, but you know, I'm not that lazy. I've done it before. But anyway, you get a pass and the train takes you all around and you can get off and get on and uh, it's like kind of, uh, it's kind of a bigger flea market and that one is near Cyprus. Um, in the Woodlands, there are flea markets up there. Uh, when I fl first drew, drove to Texas, um, I saw a t ton of flea markets on my way from Oklahoma City to Houston. Um, from I had moved from Williamsburg, Virginia to Houston uh, for my job and I drew, I uh, I drove and there was flea markets every, well there wasn't any flea markets until you got to Oklahoma, but Oklahoma City had a ton, there was just a ton of these uh, events and not a, all the flea markets will sell magic cards, but some of them will have Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, magic, as well as video games. Flea markets have a ton of video games. Now, it's changed a lot. It used to be you could get the greatest and the best video games. It used to be you could find a $200 video game for $5. That was possible. Not likely, but possible. But today, a lot of resellers and all that type of stuff going on, they still haven't got to Magic yet. So Magic, um, there's one uh, place, one booth that has rows and rows. I want to say, like, imagine all these fat packs times 25. But they're not fat packed, they're just giant rows of magic cards. And at least 100, 200, maybe 250,000 magic cards, just unsorted, um, bulk. And a lot of times those cards are bulk until something happens. And when that something has happened, those cards are still sitting there. So you can find maybe um, a few dozen copies of a recently spiked card from the reserve list from Miraz because until that spike happened, it was bulk. So to you guys saying, why are there so many good cards and you know, why you, how are you able to find so many good cards is because these cards were not good until now, until recently. And for the most part, uh, it's very casual players. When I've been there, I've been to the Stella one uh, nearest to me at least a few dozen times uh, in the last four years. And I've never seen like, it's always just casual players getting like griffins and getting just, it's not, they're not trying to get the valuable cards from it because either they're very casual and they don't care or because they don't know. But you can still find a lot of great cards in these giant bulk bins. The other thing I've seen a lot of is when a video game seller has no interest in magic cards, but sometimes they are, they will trade and I'll get like a text message saying, Hey, this guy is willing bringing this in and they want like a Legend of Zelda game. Should I trade it to him? And with the expectation that I will pay him whatever that Zelda game is or that buy list, whatever, he's gonna make profit, the people will make profit and uh, they know that I'm okay with it because I make profit as well. So that's definitely something to look out for is to talk to these vendors who do sell video games because they likely will buy Magic Collections if you tell them they have value and just to text you when a collection comes in. I've been able to find some really, really good ones. Um, and we're gonna talk about fat packs a little later. Uh, but uh, some of them have been fantastic. Some of them have been sealed boxes for 25% of the retail price, current retail price. I've had Innistrad boxes show up for $85 like last month. Uh, which I'm going to get into in a second video where I'm going to draft in a strat. Hopefully we'll shoot a, a live video with seven of my friends. It depends on my friends if they want to do it. It is kind of a more of a hassle to do it that way than just a draft. 
So yeah, I mean, flea markets are great for magic cards. They're not great for video games anymore, <laughs> uh, sadly. But luckily, I was able to build my collection uh, to where it is today. But for magic cards, still not many people know that they have value. Uh, they treat them as they treat, you know, older Pokemon cards where, you know, it's a set amount per card. But that's crazy, right? Because some cards are going to be way worth a lot and some cards are not going to be worth any. But to the casual player, which they may mainly sell their cards to, that's how, you know, they sell. Anyway, bye guys.